Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to my do-it-yourself reef aquarium fish trap. I love YouTube. Every time you have a problem, uh, you just get on the web and look up the YouTube, and you see all kinds of solutions. Uh, and the most uh, intriguing one is just taking a Coke bottle, cutting the top off, and turning it around and making a fish trap out of it. But we don't drink a lot of soda in this house, and I didn't have any Coke bottles. So uh, I looked around the house, and I came across this glass jar that my wife had laying around for plants or whatever reason. And uh, I thought about this and decided to make it into a fish trap. And what I did here is I just... Uh, Took a plastic bag, cut off a corner. <laughs> and then cut the seam. In order that I may uh, stretch it over the top. But uh, you need to cut the seam, the opposite corner of, the opposite side of the corner that you cut the opening. <laughs> That's why you see me uh, cutting it twice here. Uh, I made a mistake that you can learn from. So here we have it, we put the fish trap in the aquarium, and oh boy, I just wish I had the camera going because 15 seconds after I put it in the aquarium, that yellow tang that just peeked out at you here, he uh, he went right in the fish trap. I had put a little, a few little food pellets, and uh, he went right in. Now here's the dusky dotty back. This fish has been aggressive. Uh, I just put a new fish in, and this dusky dotty back is just tearing him to shreds. And I've lost other fish, and I think it's because of him. And I decided it's time for him to go. And uh, how do you get him out of a reef aquarium? And so this fish trap, oh, it looked like it's going to work so well here. And he's poking around in there. He smells the pellets. Uh, that's just an illusion. He did not go in. He's on the outside looking in. And uh, he's looking it over. So is the yellow tang. Even though the yellow tang has been ca caught and released already once, he's still very curious. You know, I cut that, uh, the corner of the, the Ziploc bag here. Uh, I had no idea that it, I thought it was just too small for the yellow tang to get into it and yet uh, sure enough that yellow tang did get in uh, but why isn't this dusky damsel is, is a hole okay for him uh, once I had released the yellow tang I had to re stretch this bag over and I've got to make sure the hole is in the right position and it looks like it is but I'm um, having difficulty here getting the dusky in there. At least I'm impatient. A lot of people just put these traps in their tank, go away for a few hours, and then come back and they have their fish. Well, yeah, the only trouble is you may have the wrong fish in there and uh, you waste the time. So here I put a little food in. Uh, this time some mysid shrimp instead of just fish pellets. I just want to drive them crazy now. Uh, and maybe I can catch them quicker uh, than waiting hours for them to go in the trap. So let's see what happens now. Well, certainly Yellow Tang is curious as always. And here comes the dusky damselfish, rock beauty behind him. That rock beauty doesn't take any crap from the dusky damsel. He, he lets him know he's boss. 
but my rock beauty doesn't uh, bother in any of the other fish. So he's not a trouble. Uh, I'm sorry if I said dusky damsel, I meant dusky dotty back. And dusky dotty back seems to have more interest on this side of the trap than on the open side. And he keeps looking at the food there. And I just decide that maybe I need to flip this thing around. I just want him out of there. I'm a little bit impatient. So I'm going to flip it around and uh, see if I can get him to go in the other direction. Well, here he is. He's on the open side now. And he's a little coaxing from the yellow tank. And uh, with a little coaxing, he's in there and he gets his prize mice shrimp. Good for him. Oop! Got him. <laughs> well, everybody, I hope that uh, helps. Got him.